Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Venice. So, we're going to stay at war with Poland for now and I'm going to get some mercenaries. I can get some camel archers, so that's probably the best choice. We can get two camel archers for 622 gold. That's a pretty good deal. Yep, let's do that. And we'll use them to just kill these stupid crossbowmen and maybe do some damage to Vilnius. I wouldn't mind just taking Vilnius, but we don't really have the time for that. Alright, let's do some damage since we can use them on the first turn already. We'll move one of them into the city and maybe move away from that crossbowman a bit. Alright, and I will bring my worker, I suppose. Just move away slightly. Alright. And that's that on this turn. That's all I can really do. Antana Banana Revod should be more than fine. We got some reinforcements incoming and they are almost there. The Citadel definitely helped. It would have been bad without the Citadel. Alright, so first of all, let's get rid of these guys. And like this. And one more. There. We can kill that guy on the next turn. And we can still attack. Nice. What are we researching? We are about to finish chemistry. I could steal metallurgy. Or sovereignty. If I steal metallurgy, I could research flintlock. That's not a terrible idea. That would unlock several new units. I think I might do exactly that. And then we could go for fertilizer. Which would help city growth. I think I'll pick up metallurgy. Alright, let's do it. That will there unlock some useful units. Made. I'm okay with that. And then we can enter Enlightenment Era through Flintlock. I like that plan. So, back to Antana Bananarivo. We got some units incoming. Let's have a look. Well, the march will take both of my movement points, unfortunately. That's fine. Let's see how much damage we can do. We can probably kill the Longswordsman. I'm pretty sure we can. First of all, let's do some damage to the Trebuchet, I think. Boarding party. Yep, like this. We can kill that. And, well, I could kill the elephant, which is kind of tempting. Although, I'd rather do damage to the longswordsman. We can kill the longswordsman right now on this turn. Let's do exactly that. One more shot, and we can move in with the trebuchet. Yep, like this. It might get targeted by the musketeer, but that's okay, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. And I could actually kill the general. It might be a poor idea with the knight. But I really want to do it. Alright, let's do it. Kill the general. And keep moving. Like this. Alright, good enough. You need to stay here and heal. As for you, we can get a few more improvements, I suppose. I should improve the cows. That's definitely a good plan. As for this tile. What do we want here? Probably a mine. Yep. And we need more units before we attack the cities. But I still need to get rid of all these city state units, obviously. It's going to be a little bit tough otherwise. Get a farm. And that's that. Anything else? Yep, move towards our city. And we still got a Galias, right. I think I'll do some damage to that elephant. It's embarked, so we'll do far more damage than to anything else. I could actually attack that musketeer, but I would end my move in city bombardment range. Not too excited about that. Yeah, we'll do it like this. And oh, city bombardment, fine. And now we're done. That was a pretty good turn. I'm really happy about the camel archers. They are going to help a lot. Okay, let's spy on I'm someone else for now. How much would it cost us to extend the contract? We, we got chemistry, nice. That will help our production a lot. 311 gold to extend the contract. I might just do that. Camel archers are amazing. We'll see. Anyway, we need secularism, that's a no-brainer. Even as Venice. When we won't be working as many specialist slots. And, oh yeah, we still need sovereignty before Flintlock. That's fine. 
we'll get sovereignty. Alright, so let's kill these guys already and move on. That's the plan. Let's see, two movement points. We can do something like this. And attack that guy. They didn't pillage the academy, which is nice. Let's make sure they won't. Our knight is more than fine. He didn't even get attacked. We have to repair that citadel. That would be great, yes. So first of all, let's do some damage to that musketeer. And, well, Vilnius is still really, really tempting. But we don't have a whole lot of happiness. I can't really afford to attack Vilnius. Another promotion, that's going to be boarding party too. And these guys really need to repair. Yep, let's back up a little bit. And, well, I could keep one of them inside the city. But I still want to do damage to that musketeer. We can just kill that musketeer right now. Yep, we can. Awesome. Poland doesn't stand the chance anymore. Yep, we killed their biggest wave. Fortify. And now we could actually attack the city. If we could take a city from Poland, a major city, that would be huge. We'll try. No guarantees that it's going to work, but we'll try. Anyway, trade routes. What can we get here? Carthage, 15 gold per turn. Should be safe. Yep, let's go get that one. And the second guy. Carthage still, that's fine. I'm still not too excited about having to rely on Carthage, but we don't really have a big choice. Alright, we're done. Anything else we can do? Not really. Actually, we can sell some iron. Done. That's not a bad idea. 135 gold. I don't really need all that iron. So we'll sell it. I could get some frigates, but there aren't that many coastal capital cities in this game. There are some coastal cities, so I might work on a navy, but it's not really a priority. Alright, well, let's keep moving then. And back to our city. What do you think you're doing? You're not going anywhere. Nice catapult, bro. I don't think it's going to help you all that much. Nope, it's not. Attack that worker for some experience. And kill the catapult. Let's repair that citadel already. It will take a few turns, which is fine. I might want to back up here. Yeah, otherwise the musketeer will likely attack the Chukono. I don't want that, because I don't want to waste time healing them up. And we can still attack the crossbowmen. And maybe move out of the city with that pikeman. Sounds good, yeah. Okay, fortify. And that's it. And we still got city bombardment. There. It's a little bit annoying that Poland is allied with so many city-states, but whatever. It won't really matter. We got the porcelain tower. Awesome. And we got two research agreements coming up. And we'll get a great scientist out of this. It's still worth using him for an academy. That's exactly what we're going to do. Also, I should repair that camp. We can do it after the farm is done. Alright, I'm not going to bother attacking Vilnius. We're going to attack Polish cities. That was kind of the plan all along. So that's what we're going to do. Alright. What now? Let's use the Chukono. Like so. Okay, these two guys need to die. Let's focus on them first. You need to die. I don't think we can kill the other. Which is okay. He will die on the next turn after this. And move the trebuchet a little bit closer. We have a pretty damn good army here. If we could upgrade it before attacking, that would be even better. We can get cannons already. And I should have enough gold to just upgrade the trebuchet. But we'll do that on the next turn. As for you, anything else we need around here? We can chop that forest, I suppose. Also, we are at zero happiness, which is not too great. But one of our cities is building a tavern, yep. I can't really get much more happiness, unfortunately. What can we do in Venice? I could build a farm in Venice, I mean a tavern. But I'm not too excited about that. 
If there's anything I really need in Venice, it's Ironworks. We seriously need that. Right now. Yes, we do. And it's something I can't buy. We will get a Pagoda in 8 turns. So, yeah. That's the next happiness boost we'll get. The Pagoda. Shop this. As for you, well, I'm waiting for my other units. With these units, we should be able to take some Polish cities without any major problems. Academy right there and make sure we are working it. Yep, just lock it. Okay, 256 science. That's not amazing, but it will do. We got another promotion. That's bombardment too. And kill that guy. Maybe I should kill that Inquisitor. Yeah, might as well do that. Because we can. Cargo ship. Yep, off you go. We still need like six more cargo ships. It will take a while to get that many. Which is fine. Right, so I kind of want to upgrade these trebuchets already. Let's maybe work on that. Best way to kill that guy? Probably with a pikeman, although... Nah, kill him with a catapult, or with a trebuchet, I mean. And I can't move through because Carthage. Is Carthage at war with someone? Yeah. No, they are not. Interesting. Dumb. What are you planning to do? Halak. Can I get her to declare war? Yeah. We can get her to declare war on Focatello. What about the Mongols? No. Let's keep her busy. We are quite friendly, but I would still like to keep her busy regardless. I don't want her to get any funny ideas, you know. We'll just give her free gold per turn. It's fine. And Pocatello is actually doing a little bit too well. A little bit worse now, but he is doing quite well. Alright, well, I still need to move through and I can't do that. Or I could just attack these cities to the north. These are kind of annoying. I wouldn't mind getting rid of them. And we got five ranged units in the area. The problem is that I don't have melee units in the area. We would have to get a melee unit. Okay, let's go for another trade. Yep, looks good to me. Accept. Still zero happiness. I think we'll drop into the negatives for like one or two turns. Well, not really. None of our cities are about to grow. We should stay in the positives or at zero. We won't get a combat penalty. All right, back to Antana Bananarivo. Now we can try attacking their city. But first, let's do some upgrades. They won't be cheap, but I suppose we really need them. There we go. And... Well, let's push. I'll just check my timer on the mercenaries. 10 turns. I'll probably have to pay. Which is fine, it's worth it. That's only 111 turns. That's just a little bit over my one turn of income. And we get four Shukonos out of that. Or three. Did one of them die earlier? No, we have all four. So that's a great deal. Our citadel is repaired, very nice. All right, let's push. See what we can do. I'll send the Gallias first. Okay, there's just a general inside the city. This should be pretty easy. Yep, should be pretty easy. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure we can take at least one city from them. I'm more worried about our happiness than about our ability to actually take cities. We should be able to take cities without major problems, really. Even without plus one range units. We might lose a unit or two in the process, which is fine. They are mercenaries. Mason Kani is doing quite well. Not sure if I like that. Alright, let's put the camel archers to good use. So first we'll attack Lublin. Right here. But we'll start on the next turn. Yep, sounds good to me. Not sure if I want to move in with the Chukonu just yet. We'll see. Carthage has a lot of units. Alright. We don't have any negative modifiers with Carthage, but Carthage is crazy. They might still decide to attack us at some point. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Like, not even one bit. So, let's start doing damage here. 
Yeah, I think it's about time if we want to take that city. And we do want to take that city. It's a pretty good one. Alright, let's get started. We might want to bring the cannons. Obviously. As for you, we need to repair our gems. That would be great. And let's start doing damage. We can capture that worker, because why not? And maybe pillage the trade route. That would also be great. Alright, next. We will take some damage, but there's no ranged unit inside the city right now. It shouldn't be too bad. And we auto-pillaged the trade route. Nice. That's 100 gold for us. Embargo Venice. Hey, that's not very nice. Yeah, that's not very nice at all. If we get embargoed, we'll be kind of screwed. Well, we are friendly with Washington. But I can't buy votes from him. We do have some time. How much time do we have? Only five, so that's not enough to send a diplomat. And I kind of still want to steal text from Pocatello. I promised I won't spy on him, but screw that. I don't really care about my relations with him. I'll probably end up attacking him sooner than later. So what about the trade route? Constantinople, yes, that's a pretty good one. We'll go for that. And what's next in Venice? Ironworks, yep. Anyway, we need to not get embargoed. That's pretty damn important. Right, so, back to the city. If we get embargoed, we're screwed. That's pretty much how it goes as Venice. You can't afford to get embargoed as Venice, you just can't. It's as simple as that. Alright, there is a unit incoming. We might lose the pikemen here, but oh well. I suppose that's fine. Let's see how much damage we can do. Is he going to negotiate yet? No? Really? Okay, whatever. I really expected him to start negotiating now, but... I guess he doesn't want to. So, yep, stay out of range with the knight. We need to keep at least one melee unit. And we can start doing some damage here. I really want to raise at least some of these cities. They are so annoying. We will need a melee unit over here, though. So, we might have to spend a little bit of time getting a melee unit here. We can't faith by a melee unit, unfortunately. We don't have enough faith for that. Well, there aren't any units that we can faith by anymore. Or are there? Not really, just a scout. I don't think we'll get 540 and I would still rather get the Pagoda. I think we just have to recruit a unit. Eight turns to get a Musket Man. Can we just bring a melee unit? No. What about the mercenaries? Can we get some cheap melee mercenaries? That would be nice. Let's see... Probably not. 800. I'd rather just buy a unit at this point, honestly. I mean, yeah, I could just buy a unit. We got zero horses. That's slightly annoying because I was going to get a knight. 740 for a musket man. The problem is that the musket man won't get here anytime soon. I would have to buy a unit in one of these cities, which means it won't get the experience from barracks. Or I could buy one horse from someone. Hey. Can we even buy a horse from no. anyone? No, not really. Okay, let's just get a melee unit in Dublin. I don't like spending this much gold, but we are making over 100 per turn at this point. We should be fine. Alright, just buy the musket man, it will be fine. You need to repair. And that's that. Yep. We still got the chook on us. I'm just playing it safe right now. I don't want to take too much damage. Okay, salt. We can buy a luxury. We Oh, no, we can't buy a luxury. Nope, he's not going to give us a good deal. He's not going... Oh, well, he did give us a deal. Not sure if that was worth it, but I kind of need more happiness. So I suppose I'll take it. We did not lose the pikemen. Did they just hire even more mercenaries? Yeah, Poland hired a crap ton of mercenaries. Just look at this. Look at this mercenary spam. It's actually insane. 
I actually don't like that. Because, you know, data AIs have almost an unlimited amount of gold. And yeah, this is a little bit too much for my taste. We have to back up here. I will not be able to take the city like this. Nope. We will not be taking that city. But I still want to raise a few cities over here. So let's see if we can do that. We probably can. Right, let's kill that Hussar over there. I don't really want to move in with that Chukono. Stay away from there. And yep, we have to back up. We don't really have a choice here. Can we finish repairing the gems? Are you done? No, four turns, damn it. Well, all right, we can do a little bit of damage. And that's that. Need to back up a bit. Well, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Okay, fortify. And keep the Masked Man out of range for now. Next, we'll probably have to peace out soon. Yep, we lost that pikeman, but I expected that. It's fine. I have too many pikemen anyway. And not enough horses to upgrade them to lancers. Not that lancers are any good. They are a little bit better with Enlightenment Era. Because they have another unit that they can upgrade to in Enlightenment Era itself. Anyway. Two more turns to get that pagoda. And I really want to raise at least one city over here. We can probably move in with the Chukonos now. Okay, fine, let's move in. There's no unit inside, which means we should be fine. But anyway, this will be a slightly shorter episode. I'm going to continue in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.